Welcome back to Survival Ready episode 52. On the previous episode, we went ahead and harvested our oats on the previous episode, and we planted some canola in our, well, second to oldest field, I guess. We do have to weed that as well. Probably should do that right away. But as you can see, our other three fields are ready. Both of our soybeans and our canola up here is all set to go. So I want to take care of that. We should probably get started on some of these and then we can set off a worker. Kind of keep things moving. It's a lot to do. I do want to also get that firewood sold in this episode. And that'll be the end of that. We'll have to rent a truck and trailer again. It's just, we're not, it's not going to work with what we, our small trailers. It's just overweight, it'll be a lot of back and forth. We're better off just renting the truck and trailer and being done with it. Let's see which field we should start off on first. I suppose we could just set this one off up here. Have to go around the headland once, I suppose. We also gave ourselves a little gift. It was actually in the sales. One of the... Uh, well, it's kind of like a forage harvester. We were able to sell our two cutters, our front and our, our back wings there. On our grass cutters. Got some money back for that. And also we sold the forge wagon because we can use a regular dump trailer for that. I do want to buy another dump trailer before we sell our silage in January, which this month, well, next month, I should say, because I don't know when these soybeans, are. these soybeans won't sell till July, I believe. We'll get a lot of money for that firewood, about 150000 ish and we'll be able to afford that trailer. Kind of want to get a little bit bigger than 40000 that's what our current one is, so if we get it like forty-five or fifty. that would be great. Might be a little on the high-powered end for our tractors, but I think we might be able to squeeze by. Sometimes there's some wiggle room. Getting very excited here. Like I said, we're kind of winding down on this series. Just going to do a few more here, and then we'll start our next one. Still planning out what I'm going to do here for that. I discussed in the previous episode, kind of looking at probably using some bigger equipment, having a little bit more cash on hand right away. Because we want to get that all finished up before Farm Sim 25 comes out. I was thinking I'll probably... We'll see how the series goes, but it might end up wrapping up. I'm already I'm already planning the wrap-up before the series even gets started. Like, there's no way to know, but that's, my brain just likes to plan ahead like that. I might consider getting that series wrapped up before the release of 25 that week. Because I, I, I have a feeling everybody's going to be watching 25 anyway. And, uh, you know, looking at that, all the new features, and I think some of the partnered YouTubers are going to get early access to that, like a week before, so everybody will be watching those anyway. I don't blame them. I mean, most people really love my series, but you're going to want to watch the new stuff. And then I can go ahead and, I guess, probably play the base game, one of the base game maps. And if I do do a Midwest map here for the next series, I kind of going to hold off and not do the Riverbend one on the Farm Sim 25. We'll have to see what the European map looks like. Actually, there's supposed to be an Asian map too, I think. Actually, that's what it is because the, the European one is... um. The one we currently have that was in the bundle. Zalanka. So yeah, it will be the Asian map then. But I kind of want to do that anyway. So yeah, we'll probably make it work out that way. Alright, to get past here, then we'll turn this off on a worker. And I think we'll get to doing our weeding here. And as far as planting, I haven't figured out what we're going to plant in this field. We probably could do a bunch of corn again, I think. That sounds like a good idea. So we got... Yeah, this canola was here already. Let's do two things of, of sunflowers. 
on both two and four. And then the next time around, I think we'll do corn on those. But we will have another trailer so we can make double deliveries and all that at once. Oh, let's use the Massey. A little bit more room in here now that we sold that other equipment. Kind of leaving that new harvester outside, which I guess it's, there's nothing wrong with it sitting down there. There's really no room for it unless we were deciding to build another shed or something, but I don't think we're going to do that. We'll just leave it as is. We might actually get that silo full. It's kind of getting close already. We were at... Well, 21%, and depending on how our soybean harvest goes here, it could go nuts. Alright, so I think I'm going to go ahead and tackle this, and then we'll see you guys after the time lapse.
Okay, I think we finally caught up to what we had there. That was a lot. I decided to hold off on that last field there until, uh, well, we're probably gonna do that towards probably the next episode. I think it's good to get a little break here. I do want to get that firewood done before we uh, close today's episode out. And that's gonna take a little time to get all that done and loaded. We gotta take the skid steer down there. So I wanna grab that trailer and then, well, I guess the skid steer's right up there. So we can transport it quickly without having to drive down on the road with it. Like how you're supposed to do it. Oh yeah, by the way, we ended up with 23,492 liters of soybeans. Max value of 87,000. Wow. That'll deliver in July. So we got a little while on that yet. Yeah, this skid steer worked pretty good for wood. It's definitely heavy stuff. But we used it before. And it worked out pretty well. And then we have the wheel loader. Actually, it's still sitting up at the... Uh, cell point up there. So we can... Well, we used it on the previous... Well, it was a couple episodes ago for the... Uh, cleanup day. We had to take that car... Up there. It was pretty cool to make some money on that. Uh, is this wide enough? It should be wide enough. We'd had it on here before. I swear we did. There we go. Not by much. It's insane. Get back far enough to... And what we'll have to do... Is we're going to take a nap. Because we have to get to the December here. And I don't want to get another... Rental fee on our... Truck and trailer that we're going to have to rent. Again, those who just joined us late, it would be nice if we could use the train, but the train's been... Well, the conductor, well, the engineer, actually, just left on us, so we had to... constantly drive him down there on a truck and trailer. Alright, welcome to December. Obviously, I think those three fields are gonna have to be weeded. We'll do that on the next episode. Yep, of course. But we'll go ahead and get this firewood taken care of. Let's go ahead and rent that truck and trailer. We'll just go with the same setup we had before. Alright, lease that. And then we're going to get a small truck. Well, this one's a little bit bigger, but we haven't used this one yet. Ideally, I would have went for the single axle, but let's give this one a shot. I'm going to see the inside of this. Here we are. Tatra. Got a little different sound to it. I wonder if we couldn't it almost looks like that one axle should go up, but I don't have that programmed in, I don't think. Alright, so let's run on down to the firewood place. Get this loaded on up. And then get it sold.
<laughs> Alright, I'm just taking my time here. Nice and easy. As you can see, we were having so much fun with the pallet physics. I really do hope that Giants improves on that on the next installment of Farm Sim. But I haven't heard anything. Alright, let that finish up. I suppose we can return that truck. We are done with that. Let's take care of that. Yeah, this uh well this Phoenix, I, I feel like this was a little underpowered, but we did we did have 462 horsepower. But I feel like it wasn't as good as the other ones that we had. Trying to get up those hills and whatnot. Okay, done and done. And we got 194,000 after all that. And what was our total profit on the wood? 135,000. Not too bad. So I'm going to run this back down to the shop. It's been sitting up here for a while. I'm sure they need it. And uh, on the next episode, we got to do some weeding. And we're going to have to tackle that canola. And uh, I guess we'll have to also plant our sunflowers. If we're going to do all three fields with sunflowers, that might be a little nuts too. But why not? Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.